Today, we're diving into a topic that many of you have been asking about, moving and working as a registered nurse in Australia. It's a big decision and I want to share my personal experiences and decision process that led me to make the leap. So if you're considering working in Australia as a registered nurse, keep watching. Step one, identifying the motivation. The first step in the decision process is to understand the personal motivation. Why do you want to work in Australia? Is it for career advancement, better work balance, or a new adventure? Reflecting on your reasons will help you evaluate if this move aligns with your goals and aspirations. I believe a lot of you get stuck on this question. Kaya naman, nagiging indecisive kayo. Now let me help you on this one. Now whenever I have to make a very important decision and I get stuck for whatever reason, I always ask myself what I don't want to happen sa buhay ko. When we made the decision to go abroad, we are not certain what we really want but we are 100% sure that we didn't like the opportunity sa Pilipinas. The paycheck was not enough to build the life we wanted for ourselves and for our future. So that alone was our driving factor to look for alternatives which led us to the next part of this video. Step two, researching for job opportunities. Now, once you've established your motivation, it's time to dive into the research. Look into the specific requirements for working as an RN in Australia. Check the registration process, visa options, and any additional certifications or qualifications you may need. This information will guide your decision-making process and help you understand the steps involved. Now for me, this was the exciting part, researching for the facts. We looked into the requirements to become a nurse here. So part ng husband ko, he looked into his industry, which was hospitality. We gather all we could find about our industry requirements and visa requirements. Based on the facts that we had that time, it was a good strategy to get my husband on a student visa to study hospitality while I work on my registration in nursing. So let me tell you this, the truth is, it was overwhelming <laughs> because there's so many advice that, that was out there and we were so young and naive to comprehend everything. But you know what? We stick to the facts. Facts are our friends. Remember that. Now step three, understanding visa requirements. Australia offers a wide range of job opportunities for nurses, but it's essential to assess the job market in your desired location. Look for nursing vacancies, understand the demand for your specialty, and explore potential employers. Consider factors like salary, benefits, and work culture to ensure it aligns with your expectations. We search for the available jobs sa internet and kung ano ang minimum requirements to get hired sa job na qualified kami at that time. Since we were on a student visa, our visa requirements at that time was that we can only work for 20 hours a week and unlimited hours during school holidays and public holidays. We also research possible visa pathway namin if we decide to stay in Australia. We were proactive and we did a lot of planning on this as this is a crucial part on our success sa journey namin. Step four, assessing the cost of living. Moving to a new country involves considering the cost of living and lifestyle. Research the average cost of housing, transportation, healthcare, and other essential expenses in your chosen location. Additionally, explore the lifestyle and recreational activities available to ensure it suits your interests and preferences. It is also good to consider the weather. I know you think that weather is not a problem, but that's not completely true. Since I grew up in a tropical country, I love the sun. When we moved to Melbourne, I was not impressed with the weather. My husband, on the other hand, love Melbourne. But you know what? Alam niyo na yung kasabihan na happy wife is equal to happy life. Step 5. Networking and support system. Building a support system is crucial when moving to a new country. Connect with fellow nurses who made the move to Australia or join online communities where you can gather insights and advice. Networking will not only provide valuable information but also offer emotional support during the transition. Just try your best to surround yourself with people that will lift you up and or inspire you, of course. Hindi naman mawawala ang mga toxic na tao 
tao kahit saan ka pumunta. Choose carefully kung sino ang sasamahan nyo. Step 6. Weighing the pros and cons. Now it's time to weigh the pros and cons. Make a list of the advantages and disadvantages of working in Australia as a registered nurse. Consider factors like career opportunities, work-life balance, financial stability, personal growth, and challenges you may face. This will give you a clear picture of what you expect and help you make an informed decision. Sa case namin, after living here, initially we struggled to find the work-life balance. For a while, we were doing stupid stuff and nawalan kami sa direksyon. We blamed the cost of living and we actually thought of going back sa Pilipinas because we felt like we will be forever living paycheck to paycheck. But then we found a formula to get back in the game and now we can see that our dreams are all possible. And lastly, step seven, seeking professional guidance. If you're feeling overwhelmed or unsure about the decision, seeking professional guidance can be beneficial. Consult with a migration agent or employment agency specializing in healthcare to get expert advice on the visa process, job opportunities, and any other concern you may have. They can provide valuable insights and support throughout your journey. The job of these professionals is to educate you and clarify the process of moving in Australia. If they are just selling you their product and you feel like being rushed, then walk away. You need to understand the risk of this move para magkaroon kayo ng informed decision. No one should push you to do this migration if you and your spouse is not in the same page of the hard work and sacrifice that you will both have to endure. Don't worry about the kids. They don't get a vote. They are your children. You have the final say in all of this. Making the decision to move and work in Australia as a registered nurse is a significant step in your career. By considering all the steps I mentioned, you'll be equipped to make an informed decision that aligns with your goals and aspirations. Remember, this decision is personal and what works for you may not work for the other. Take your time, gather all the information you need and trust your instincts. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Best of luck on your journey and I'll see you in the next one.